What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Grio, Gyro, whatever you want to call me, man. And y'all already know, man, I got this Q&A for y'all boys. And I know you YouTube subscribers didn't get a chance for my Q&A. But make sure whenever y'all watch my videos, follow me on Twitter, my Instagram, whatever. Because that's how I got the questions for this Q&A right now. So my Twitter link is like right there. Or my Twitter name is right there. Y'all go follow me because I, I need some more followers. I need some more Twitter clout, man. Because I be trying to interact with, with my fans, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, we're going to get right into this q a i got a uh intro for y'all boys and brand new intro it's an rl video uh intro i tell me if y'all boys like it all right man because i put some time and in editing into it last night you now i'm saying so tell me if y'all boys like it y'all finna get hit with it right now Now, is it tough or is it lame? Is it average? I don't know. Y'all just know I'm just me now. Nah, I'm saying so. We're gonna get right into this day in QA. And so, the first question I got here, I'm actually reading this off my iPad right now, is why you bust in eight strokes from my guy Mari. He's actually my other leader in the clan uh, that I have. But uh, he asked me why I bust in eight strokes. Number one rule, Mari, or number one thing, Mari, uh, I actually didn't bust, okay? I, my, my guy didn't even work properly. I just like felt something and I didn't want to take any risk of anything so i didn't necessarily buzz and that, that's a weird question of you asking because i know you don't get done bro bro you got a, a anime character as your profile picture so i know you don't get done man so on to the next question okay somebody on my snapchat said would you rather suck would you rather suck a, a, a guy a guy or let my mom die uh that's a pretty hard question right there but uh i will never give up my manhood ever in life because that's something that'll be on me for like the rest of my life that's something that'll actually hurt me as a person and uh yeah i, I can't i can't go out sad I, I never be gay in my life i'm actually i i just i just can't do i can't do something like that because that, that's really like ew nasty and then like that's pain that's pain on you for like doing something like that and and um and it's not that serious because if my mom's going to die that's that's the way that she picked to die or something like that you can't change how you how god told told you that you were going to die okay so if that happens then that happened but i'm not going gay for nobody i'm telling you that now um i got Jalen here he came in with a question hey how did you come up with the name Grio. All right, so this is actually um, a lot of people ask me this question. They always like, yo, what is a Grio? What is a Gyro? Like, and they always refer to me as a dang RB sandwich, but I'm not. It's spelled completely differently. But uh, how I came up with it, right? So it was one day, and I had a friend I used to play Fortnite with because I used to be good at Fortnite. And he had like a four letter PSN and with like, like, with like a dash in it, right? And I was like, yo, that name is cold. Let me try to find one because I'm tired of. I was like Jacoby sauce and jacoby bill something something like that back then because i was uh like a sweat at fortnite but um uh, yeah i was searching for one and then i came across the name i was just searching for four letter ps and with, with a dash and i came across something that actually means something and the name G-R-Y-O, it, it was a, just a, the name of it. So I was like, all right, man, I might just go go with this because this is actually pretty dope. And I believe I can build a channel like like, like this. Like, because that's how I started Grio. That's exactly how I started Grio. I was looking for a PSN name and I found one and I just, I liked it. It just represented me and that's somebody I would like to be called by. But nobody even calls me my name, wouldn't calls me the right name. They always say Gyro. But uh, yeah, that is actually uh, how I came up with Grio. So on to the next question um my man mari's backup account because he's banned from dming people on twitter as he uses backups he asked me when i'm going to upload a 2k video well mari i'm going to try to upload some 2k videos but um i have lost my adapter but uh, i actually got it back so i'm happy now but 2k videos they're, they're just hard for me to edit and stuff but i actually got a banger 2k video coming for y'all boys probably monday monday or tuesday it's gonna be one of those all right I, it's gonna be a banger trust me it, it's a mixtape man y'all see y'all saw y'all know i came up from the mixtapes man so i'm gonna be uploading 2k video probably monday or tuesday and my main center y'all know my main center his name is snagatron he says when will you return to 2k 
uh when will i i fully return i don't know if i will fully return to 2k at all because the fact that the game is like broken and like they don't like to fix their game and they like to leave glitches out and then patch your jump shot and then mess you all around and the fact that i had got grounded and i lost like the two weeks that i got grounded for and everybody became as good as me i don't know when i will return to 2k because the game just stresses me out and i want to be happy in my life other than being stressed in my life by playing nba 2k 20 because that game stresses me out i'm telling y'all that now all right so on to the next question we got another question from snagatron actually he asked me how long do i plan on doing youtube well honestly i plan on doing youtube for the rest of my life i will honestly i like youtube is like the only job that i think perfects me and makes me happy with my life is being able to interact and inspire you guys and also doing what i love to do and just being happy in general so how long i plan on doing it i want to be a youtuber for the rest of my life I, i'll be doing youtube when i'm 65 you know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, I, I would love to do YouTube for the rest of my life. I just hope I get that chance. I just hope I blow up before I leave high school. But uh, yeah, so if I can, if I blow up before I leave high school, y'all just know, man, I'm I'm gonna do it for the rest of my life. Y'all trust me, man. Y'all trust me on that one. So going on to the next question, uh, my man Barnes asked, what's my subscriber goal? Well, I don't necessarily have a goal, but I have like somewhere that like when I reach, I'm gonna be completely happy well i will um me being me hitting like five million on youtube i just remember what i say i will hit five million on youtube but that's my that's where i'll be completely happy completely like 100 percent with myself that i actually completed something that i've been grind grinding for like my, my whole life so five million is actually a good number for me i believe i can do it i know i already done it like i know i can do it man so that's what you gotta, you gotta put your mind to things like that and you just never quit and barnes asked uh another question he says what do you see yourself in five years well me being me right now me uploading almost consistently uploading almost every single day i'm gonna be daily uploading as well uh in five years i i think i might be i probably i'll be 21 so most likely i'm gonna see about five million for myself in about five years people people have done that people have been hit hit five million within three two years i just gotta put all the time and dedication into my uh journey and i could probably see myself at five million in about five years if not i'm gonna see myself at five million y'all just trust me on that one man so going on to the next question is coming from my man's barnes once again he asked me if i weren't doing youtube what would i be doing well i play basketball uh but like i was like i play basketball but i'll I say I, I wasn't the best on the team i never was like i used to be the best on the team like about sixth seventh grade but uh other than that uh i will be playing basketball or probably doing something with my technology skills because i'm really good with technology probably editing or graphic designing but i had quit uh graphic designing so um i just edit now so if i if i weren't doing youtube i'd probably be an editor or a, a psychologist uh is actually what i would be doing like helping people with their problems and things like that because i'm just naturally good at those situations and doing something like that and as we're going on to the next question uh my man loading uh he's actually in my clan he asked me what made you make a clan that's actually a pr pretty good question um right now i am 16 years old and my dad always taught me he was like hey man don't ever follow others have others follow you not saying that that my clan is bad or anything and they follow me it's just the fact that i would like to be in charge over certain situations and helping people do better with their channels because my my clan is mainly a support clan like we help others we give others advice things like that so like me running things the way I can makes me have like control over the situation and I can handle situations better other than me being a follower in a clan or me being in a clan that I really don't want to be in and I'm getting ran by somebody else that I shouldn't be ran by. So that's why I wanted to make a clan or organization, whatever you want to call it. But that's why I made one. On to the next question, man. It's coming from Loden again. He said, why did I decide to pursue YouTube? Well, uh, I always wanted to be a YouTuber my whole life. Um, I, I had my first YouTube video drop about when I was seven years old, man. It was me and my cousin. We did like a dunk contest battle off of a, tr a chair, bro. I, I just always wanted to be a YouTuber. I always looked up to, hey, I really want to make videos and entertain other people inspire other people that that's just really I, really what i want mainly wanted to do and always like hey
hey, I, I need to go, go go do that. I just like to make videos because videos, I'm an entertaining person in real life. And if I can like stretch that out to people across the world, I would love to do that job. But now going on to the next question, man, it's coming from my guy Loden once again. And he asks, what does griot mean? That's actually a good question. Uh, griot means a lot of things, but griot represents me as a person. And I like to gain respect. Uh, it means gain respect, young one. And that's when I created it. I was really young when I created it. And I always wanted to gain respect in my life or get rich, whatever, whatever, whatever griot means. The why I was young one because I started from when I was young. And so that's basically what griot means. It represents me as a person. I like to be called griot. It's just like, it's just a, a blessing to have a name that represents me but it's not my name if you get what i'm saying here so that's basically what griot means it means to gain respect young one basically what it means if i try to find a better acronym i will but right now that's what it means for me right now going to the next question my man slay yo what's up slay man i haven't uh, talked to him in a good minute he says will i ever upload anything besides sports games or basic games like fort or call of, call of duty well number one thing uh at fortnite i used to be good but now i got i build like a stair and then a wall and then a dude got an apartment complex building five star rating right in front of me and now he's shooting at me so fortnite is gonna be a little bit of hard for me to like upload something like that but like i can upload fortnite if you guys and my fans want me to upload fortnite and call of duty i'm a pretty decent player at call of duty i wouldn't call myself the best or anything but like i'm a pretty entertaining type person so like if y'all want entertaining videos from different games i can most definitely do that because i just try to buy the games because i mean i have no problem with money but like if you guys want those kinds of games i most definitely will be posting them but uh fortnite is gonna be a hard one for me but i'm really entertaining so y'all might get a, a lot of laughs out of a fortnite video that i drop on to the next question man my man self xy uh i don't know it, it's it's style something okay i call him style but he says am i highly dedicated to youtube uh if you didn't know Sal, you know I'm highly dedicated, but like, yes, I, I've, I've been, I love YouTube, man. I love doing this for my fans. I love having supporters come up to me talking about how good a video I dropped was, but uh, yes, I am highly dedicated. This is my only dream and goal that I want to do. I don't have a plan B. This is the only thing I'm focusing on so I can focus on me, myself, and my dream. So that's why I am really highly dedicated to YouTube. Next question, Silvexi so again, he asked me, will I ever end up quitting YouTube? and easy answer no i will never quit youtube no matter what happens no matter how low i go i worked for all my fans now and i work for everything that i love now and i just can't give up anything like that because i will never i you can die out but as long as you never quit you never fail at it all right you can you can uh, you can be upset you might not pull the amount of views you want but as long as you don't quit you'll never fail you just have to remember that yo and last but not least the question was asking me on snapchat i actually don't have the screenshot because i'm reading off my ipad and i actually said that why did you start nofab uh i started nofab because um i was tired i always whenever i used to watch the little the little the p word um i used to always like hey i should quit this i should all i should quit this i should do that man i don't know why i kept doing it but i put my mind to it this time and i watched videos on like hey you get actually mental confidence you get confidence you confident in yourself you start loving yourself and you start being able to talk to other people so as well so that's the main reason why i started nofab i'm actually get a, a video on that uh nofab video for you for you guys right there but uh, that's the reason why i had started nofab but at this is getting to the end of the video this video might have been pretty long i really don't know the time of it but um yeah that's why um this is uh, these are my questions and answers that i gave you guys if you guys any uh wanted to know them man that's that's what i had brought you guys today man i hope you guys like the video share a comment man even share the video with somebody make sure you subscribe as well man it's your boy grio garo whatever you want to call me man remember say true to yourself before you say true to anybody else man and i'm already getting coach good Bye.